today is day 16. Ooh, let's see what it is. It is the witch. Ooh. Uh. Okay, so this is easy to build. You just put the witch legs on, then its head, and then its hat. And there you have it. Good morning! It is day 16 of Vlogmas, December 16th, and um, it's Saturday morning. We have been moving a little bit slow today. Uh, it's about 10, and um, I didn't go to bed until midnight um, because I was editing and uploading the vlog after a late night of hockey. So, um, here we are. I have started um, two pots of dye. I have a fingering weight. I have a fingering weight organic um, single ply. Three skeins of that. I'm dyeing it in moss. And then I have 10 skeins total, but five currently in a pot of the colorway rust and so i'm just dyeing them solid colors to kind of test out what the colors do when they're at their max um saturation and the max amount of dye that you're supposed to put in the pot so um i've got that going i'm gonna get it up to temperature of 185 and then add the acid to it so um there's that. I also have my knitting to show you. This is the sock knitting. And uh, if you watched yesterday's um, vlog, you will have seen that yes, you, I did win. You can indeed take in your knitting. Um, however, I had it in my jacket pocket, so I kind of cheated, I guess. Um, well, I'm in the middle of a round, so it's kind of wonky. Um, but here we go. This is what I knit yesterday. Oop. I don't know, maybe three inches? Maybe a little bit more. So... Here's the, the progress keeper from when we last chatted. Let's move it up. Well, let's measure first how many inches I did. Three and a half. Okay, well, that's, that's pretty good. I'm almost there then for um, starting the heel for John's sock. 
Okay. There we go. All right. Back up to the top. Let's see if we can get to the heel section today. That would be nice. Um, so this yarn is very rustic. It's very nice. I am questioning if it's a little big. They say 72 stitches around for men's feet, but this seems really loose. So I might have to shrink it in the dryer a little bit, which they'll shrink naturally because inevitably they end up in the dryer. So I might just leave it. Okay, there are, there's the update on the sock. I have not done anything on my field sweater for maybe a week. Um, but that's okay. I have, I have things that I need to get done. <laughs> like these Christmas socks for John. And, um, I also have lost track or what do they call that? Lost momentum on my spindle spinning um, because I just distracted with other things. So I actually haven't done the full hundred days. Well, not that I would have done it anyway at this point, but um, if I'm going to do 100 days, I've got some days to make up. So I might do a little bit of this today, as well as the dyeing. Uh, what else? Yeah, we're going to have a quiet day. Um, I am going to do the dyeing that I currently have on the stove as well as an additional five skeins. So that'll take um, maybe till noon, so a couple hours. Um, maybe a little longer, I'm not quite sure. I'm fairly new to acid dyeing, so um, it takes less time than natural dyeing, but I don't know how much less time. It seems substantial, almost in half, but I don't know for sure. Um, and then uh, John is working on some leather projects uh, for his mom uh, for Christmas. And Hudson has a play date with his cousin and his Nana and Grandpa are going to take them both to dinner and then um, hot chocolate and a trip around the neighborhood uh, looking at lights. So uh, that should be fun for him and he'll enjoy it. They do it every year. Uh, that means date night. So we'll see what John comes up with. Um, I may or may not take you along for that. We'll see. It might just mean a quiet dinner at home. I was planning to make stew today, so I'll take you along for that. Um, as well and I was thinking about making um, some cookies so now that I'm talking it seems busier <laughs> we just don't have any outside stuff that we're doing um, in places that we have to be to or whatnot so. um yes I think that's it uh, I'll check in with you throughout the day otherwise happy knitting or crocheting or spinning.
friends, it's about 5.30, almost 6 o'clock. And uh, Hudson's gone for the evening with Grandpa and Nana. And um, yeah, it's been a busy day uh, with mostly dying and that type of stuff. Uh, I dyed three different sets in my pots and uh, two of the sets were green one set was a rust color so those you will have to wait for the reveal until Monday when they're dry um, I do have one set to show you this I dyed yesterday in um, let's see it's fingering weight yarn in minis. So let me take one off here. Um, this is fingering weight yarn in a mini skein, 20, 20 grams. And I dyed it, let's see. I dyed it with acid dyes using citric acid as the acid and dyes as in um, country classic dye. There you go. It's pretty cute. I like it a lot. Um, so I have five of them. They have this um, chestnut color on the top and then down here is speckled with blue, red, and gray. So I think it's very cool. I like the technique. Um, yeah, so mini skeins. Um, let's see, so that's one finished thing for today. I haven't done any spinning, um, so I might do a little bit of that and then close out the evening. Um, I'm still working on John's sock. I'll show you, you the progress tomorrow. It'll probably be in the afternoon after church. Um, yeah. So, there we are. That's it from us here. Hope you have a lovely Saturday evening, and we'll see you Sunday.